become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to see if you would like to model a non-standard flange and if that flange you want to put upon any nozzle. So, is it possible to do it in PBLIT? The answer is yes. Of course, we can do it. But there is certain procedure that what we need to follow. So, what is that procedure? Let's have a look at. Let us assume this nozzle N1, let's say right now is attached with some standard weld neck flange but we don't want any standard weld neck flange rather we would like to have a non-standard flange what we are going to design and then we are going to put it upon this nozzle n1 so how to do it in pvl let's have a look at first whatever the nozzle you have modeled i am just double clicking on that nozzle so that it will open So uh, the nozzle is opening. So this is PV25 version. So sometimes it will get some slow response. So let's say nozzle N1 is there. We have uh, put in all the relevant data. Here we are going to have 450 mm as the inside diameter. And we are going to manufacture it from, let's say, the plate. So here uh, the corrosion allowance is there. Actual thickness, what we are going to take, let's say the corrosion allowance is 3 millimeters. So rest all the information is there. Only thing what we need to take care is that we don't want any flange which is a standard flange associated with it. So for that what we need to do? We have to click here the class and then we have to choose none. So once we are going to click none over here. So you can see uh, the grade is also not there. Flange type is also not there. Correct? So if I'm now clicking upon OK button, so what is going to happen? Let's have a look at. So you can see to this nozzle, now there is no attachment of any kind. There is no standard flange attached to this nozzle. Now what needs to be done? Now we are going to model a non-standard flange and that flange we are going to attach to this nozzle. So how we are going to do it? So for that, what we have to do is very important first step that we have to click upon this arrow so that the software will direct you to the last component what you have modeled. So let's say I'm clicking upon this component which has been selected. The moment I click upon this arrow, the last element, it will show me the selection of the distance which is the last component. So first we have to hit this button or arrow and we have to reach to the last component. After that, we are going to model one non-standard flange. So how to model non-standard flange? In the parent element options, we have to click upon this tab. So which is nothing but the ANSI bolted flange tab. So as I am going to click over here, you can see at the last, there is some flange like structure which has been created. Let us give the name to this flange as flange N1 flange. N1 flange because this flange is going to mount it upon the nozzle N1. So it is a body flange. I am not going to put any dimensions over here, finish thickness and this thing that we are anyway going to change once we have entered into perform flange calculation checkbox. So let's say I am going to have this as SA105. So I am clicking upon the material so that SA105 has been selected. So now perform the flange calculation check. So I am clicking on this checkbox and now this option has been opened. So weld neck flange is there? Yes. So let's say the dimensions are 450 mm. It is a weld neck flange so but welding will be happening. So for that the ID has to match with the ID of that particular nozzle. So there it was having an inside diameter of 450. So here also we will be having 450 mm. So here flange design is not our topic. So I am directly putting the values which I have already designed because flange design is an iterative method. It requires 
a lot of iteration based upon the requirement. So if you are interested in flange design, then you can subscribe to our online training course where all types of flanges have been designed and more than one four, 14 hours of lectures are dedicated only for flange designs as per division one mandatory appendix two. So here I'm directly putting the values. So our intention of having this particular tutorial is how to attach the non-standard flange to what? To the nozzle and not the flange design. So I'm directly putting the values over here. Twenty four. Then M Y factor. Let's say three is your M factor. Sixty nine is the Y factor, and four point five is the thickness of that particular gasket. Now you can see the required thickness is twenty seven. Let me put thirty two for here for the sake of calculation. So here we can see the flange has been passed, right? So we have created a flange successfully. So I'm going to click over here. OK. Now you can see if I'm just dragging this down the scroll bar, you can see flange type well neck, nominal size lookup. After that, there is flange connected to nozzle. So is this flange connected to nozzle? We have to click upon this checkbox. So once you click upon this checkbox, the parent nozzle selection will be enabled. So from here, what we have to do is we have to select the nozzle to which this flange needs to be attached. Whatever nozzles we have modeled, all will be displayed in this list. So what we need to do, which is the nozzle? Nozzle N1. So what we have to do is we have to just select nozzle N1. And if you can just have a look at now, the flange has been attached to that particular nozzle. So this is very, very interesting. Many people know this, but those who are not knowing this, they can use this tool and the procedure to connect the non-standard flange with the standard nozzle or let's say the nozzle what you have designed. Now let us say I'm going to have one more flange, which is a blind flange. Can I attach that blind flange after this flange? The answer is yes. So how to do that? Again, we have to click upon this last. Then we have to go to flange. Let's say N1 blind flange is what the name of that flange I'm going to give. N1 blind is what the name of that flange. Again, I'm not going to put any of the data over here. I'm just trying to click upon perform flange calculation. It will automatically take the last flange data what we have just modeled. So it was well neck flange. Now I, I am interested in blind flange. So I'm just clicking over blind flange. So these dimensions will go. Correct. So this is the blind flange. What is the required thickness? Let's say 23 mm. So what the thickness, what I'm going to consider over here is let us say the thickness 32. What I'm going to keep it over here. So you can have anything which is more than 24 millimeter because I'm also going to model one more nozzle on this flange. So for that purpose, to have the reinforcement cushion, I'm keeping it 32. You can have it 24, 26, 28, which is more than this, right? So I'm clicking on OK. So this is N1 blind. What we have created is that flange visible over here. At the last, if you just zoom it over here, you can see over here, there is this flange. If I go to 2D view, you can see this flange over here, right? So whether this is attached to the nozzle, again, I have to click upon flange connected to nozzle. I have to click on this checkbox so that the parent nozzle selection icon will be enabled. Now I'm going to click it again. I'm going to click upon N1 nozzle, right? So the moment I click upon N1, so you can see after the standard flange and on standard flange, the other blind flange is also there. If I'm going to rotate with this option, so you can see that the blind flange is also attached over here. So this is the way by which if you want to model a non-standard flange attached to the nozzle and on top of it, if you also would like to model the blind flange, it is also possible. So 
let's say this blind flange is nothing but the parent component. So if you would like to have any nozzle which is connected with this, that is also possible. So what we have to do is we have to select the top flange. Then I have to get into the nozzle dialog box. So let's say the nozzle name is N4. SA106 grade B, let's say, I'm going to have the schedule 80. Again, here the nozzle design is not what our intention is. Our intention is how to model the nozzle which is attaches to the blind flange which is already connected with a, another standard, non-standard other flange. So radial nozzle, everything is there, 10 mm. So I'm going to click upon tab button. So you can see now the calculations have been performed. The available area of reinforcement is 21.189 and the area required is 20.917. So the moment I hit OK, so you can see over here the nozzle is also created and has been attached to the parent nozzle, isn't it? The parent flange. So I hope you must have enjoyed this tutorial as well. If you are interested in joining our online courses, which are very, very in-depth, no other course give you as a depth knowledge as what we are giving. So you just click into the comment box and there is a link provided. So on that, you just can click and provide the information.